Hey guys, it's AP Gaines here, and today we got week four, round two of Grand Arena Championship. Let's take a look. All right, this week our opponent was incredibly gracious. I messaged him and I said, please do not place. Let's take a look. This GG on defense. Yeah, a Relic 7 double Zeta General Grievous with a full Zeta, except for one, Separatist team. We got some gear 12s and B1. Yikes. Yikes. If we take a look at his roster, we can tell just by looking, highly focused. Much better roster than mine. Solid Empire team with Basilish on Fallen. He's got the potential to have a good Separatist team. And you might be wondering, what's what's this? He's got Darth Revan. Yeah. He also has a pretty solid Night Sister team. And pretty solid bounty hunters. He's got seven star Padme. A nice zombie. He's got GK. I wouldn't be surprised if he somehow had Treya. It's it's gonna be a bloodbath. Let's get into the battle. Alright, we're gonna go in for the first time and just as I thought. He wiped us out. Let's take a look. I placed a horrible defense because I thought he would place his GG on defense, so I saved basically all of my offense. All of it to like five man that GG team. I was really scared, let me tell you. I put my Empire Palpatine team up here protecting my ships. I threw complete garbage down here, didn't really matter. Back here I threw the meme team because you know we always throw the meme team on the back wall. Might have, should have saved them. Newt and Dooku probably would have been useful to go against this Separatist team. And then ships, I didn't really do much. I placed a good front three. A little bit of trash back here with my best capital ship. It took him two battles, so we have a little bit of leeway, but we'll we'll see. All right, I'm bringing in my bounty hunters against his night sisters. I can't imagine we'll do all that great. Let's get a little bit of burning. Can't get around that because he doesn't have bounty hunters resolve. Let's get a little bit of ability blocks going. They're going to start stun locking, turn meter training us. It's going to be kind of rough. It's going to be really hard to get past the initial stuns and turn meters. Probably not going to get the payout. Let's do a little bit of damage over onto Asajj. Let's try to remove this buff. Oh, a nice stun. That's perfect. All right. Let's see if we can't fill out that contract. Perfect. Okay. If Boba can get his turn, if Boba can take her out, shoot. All right, let's try to ability block Daka. Oh, I forgot he has zombie. Yep, that's just how it goes, boys. Leg up on the field. It's gonna one shot Cad Bane. All right, we gotta get some debuffs to try and get. There we go. Perfect. All right. Tippity tap. That's not amazing. Let's try to get an assist. Alright, that's bad. Let's get some burning up on the field. Try to get some more health and protection. She's gone. Let's try to taunt with Bosk. There we go. Alright. Oh. He's got to get his bounty hunter's resolve back. Typical. See if I can call assist from Django. Perfect. All right, let's try to get some dots up on the field. Yes. Too late to recover any banners, but at least we got the first win. So I mean, that's all you can ask for, right? All right, guys. A problem you're going to come into often in the mid game is you're going to go up against players who have teams that you cannot get through, and unfortunately, that's going to be just part of life at the mid game until you get to the higher higher parts of the game where you can have a bunch of super overpowered teams not necessarily overpowered but comparable when you're mid game and your opponent has relics and you don't have a gear 13 it's a little bit challenging but all you got to do is you got to make the best of it you got to get as many banners as possible try to get on your way to kyber and learn from these teams that you can't beat and figure out new and creative strategies to try and get through them 
because it's not about getting high banners against these teams. It's about somehow beating them. And that perseverance is important in this game. So let's take a look. All right, we've opened up his ships. Let's take a quick peek. Yeah, not amazing. I, I'm pretty sure he thought that there was no way we were going to be able to beat him. So he probably threw garbage ships there on purpose so that he could make sure he took ours out, which is smart. I give my opponent props. All right. Apparently, I clicked stop recording instead of start recording on my software. So you missed the fleet battle, but it was a weak fleet. We destroyed them. Only got like 60 banners, but I mean, we got through it, and that's all that really matters. All right, guys, I just wait for the onslaught. Yeah, it's rough. It's looking real rough. All right, guys, I took my um, Ahsoka and my Jedi Anakin away from my Padme team. Hopefully I can steal this. So, hmm. My Jedi team is stronger. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Luckily, I took that repost off of him. I'm not going to be able to stun him. Hopefully, I can get a little bit of... Nope, no criticals. Let's see here. Let's just do a basic. This potency down. Hopefully, he can't stun anyone. Whoa. All right, let's get some more stealth. Let's try to get rid of this guy before he does any damage. Whoa, yep. Sprinkle a little of that Droidica sauce on him. If he targets my Jolie Bindo, it's all over. Yep. That's the way the cookie crumbles against these overpowered teams. Now, when you're mid-game, this happens all the time. It's nothing crazy. You're going to fight a team that you're not going to be able to beat. Yeah. When you know that your whole roster can go up against a team and do literally no damage whatsoever, there's a little bit of balancing issues. But, I mean, if you can get one team to be better than your entire opponent's roster, throw them on defense, like... You know there's no way they can full clear you. That means you can play around on offense. So my opponent was smart. It's a little bit unfortunate that you run into these teams, but that's just the way it works. Let's get into the next battle. All right, in our desperate attempt to go against an overpowered squad, bringing our CLS. Unfortunately, my Chewy isn't at seven stars for this one. I uh, got him at seven stars literally 20, 25 minutes after I... Uh, signed in for Grand Arena. A little unfortunate, but I mean, at least next next time we know that he'll be there. Let's pray. We can get us done. There we go. Some counterattacks. All right. We definitely need this taunt. Some critical. I wish I had the Zadon Chewy for some health and protection recovery. Maybe I should have brought this team in first. I know CLS is actually a good counter to this team at higher levels. I just wasn't confident that my low star team was going to be able to cut it. Let's see if we can't get Troidic out of here for the future. Let's get some damage over under Newt. Let's see if we can get some speed down. He's going to take Dooku out, or Dooku's going to take him out. All right, let's just hope and pray. There we go, that this can kill Dooku. All right, we might be working with something, boys. We might actually get a full clear here. All right. On to battle three. <laughs> All right, boys, I brought my Geos in. I was really trying to save them for the back wall. I should have used them two teams ago, but sometimes you just get a little frustrated, a little stressed. Your strategy breaks down. It's normal. 20 banners. Never gotten 20 banners before in my life, but oh well. All right, guys, sometimes you lose. Sometimes you can't beat a team. Sometimes you can't get through them. And sometimes you just lose because you make a mistake. And that's okay. That's Grand Arena. What is important is that you learn. You now have new strategies to go up against teams that you've maybe never fought before or that you have struggled with. And that makes you better for the next round and the next week and the next Grand Arena season. So keeping that in mind, I don't think that a round two loss is necessarily a terrible thing. It might slow my progression towards Kyber, but it's not the end of the world. 
And if you guys like the content, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.